A year ago, virtual reality still seemed like a futuristic idea to many of us, but with Google Cardboard providing an affordable way to experience VR, it has become the technology of today. Even the Mobile World Congress, a conference that is usually focused on mobile hardware and software, was dominated by this growth media and entertainment trend. With the rise of VR, numerous companies were starting to show off how their hardware could harness the technology with features and headsets. This while other companies were using it as a way to promote and demo the products they still have in development. Qualcomm was certainly keen to push their Snapdragon 820 processor and how its power could be used to virtual reality. This was done by showing off pre-recorded video rendered on the chip of a dragon spitting fire that you could view from all angles using a VR headset. The mobile device is rendering prototype and um, as you can see in here this is the mobile device mm -hmm. and this one is powered with the uh, Snapdragon 820 processor and with this we're showing the capability of the processor, the power of the Snapdragon and it, that it actually is possible to have a virtual reality within a mobile device. Even more exciting was the Intel RealSense smartphone development kit that mirrors movement in the real world through a range of sensors and motion trackers. This could then be mapped into the virtual world, a dynamic that made me scared to take too many steps forward in case I fell off a cliff. What you probably can't do until now is to be able to do this, which is move in real space and actually have the movement in your real space be translated and or mirrored into the virtual space. What we've done is taken real world objects and integrated into the virtual scene. Oh, wow. So as you can see, just like that, whoop, almost punched someone, <laughs> um, just like that, my real hands have appeared. And you can see and experience the robustness, the speed, almost no latency. Real world hand with a virtual object. Notice how I just knocked over these virtual statues. The Oculus Rift is probably the most famous VR tech, if only because it was purchased by Facebook. Trying this headset on is like strapping on a pair of ski goggles that transports you into your own personal 3D virtual world. The sense of immersion is complete and achieved mainly thanks to its horizontal field of view that takes up much of your peripheral vision. Add to this its head tracking ability that transfers your movements instantaneously into what you're seeing and you feel like you are there. But it was the HTC Vive that was the hot topic at Mobile World Congress. This VR headset, which is being made in conjunction with the game developer Valve, is similar to the Oculus Rift, but utilizes a few additional gadgets to expand its features and make its experience a little more immersive. The Vive is to come packaged with two wall-mounted sensors that scan your room and mark your position in it. This allows you to move around and interact with its games, knowing it won't walk you into a wall or trip you over a chair. Although you do have to look out for the wires that tether you to your computer. It's also set to include two controllers, one for each hand, that allow you to reach out and interact with its virtual worlds. I had a great time using the HTC Vive to play Elite Dangerous at the show. It let me chase down enemy ships and cruise around planets with a full 360 degree field of view, making me totally unaware that I was only six inches away from the wall in front of me. If you prefer to capture your own life in virtual reality, the compact and portable Samsung Gear 360 lets you shoot your own videos and stills, capturing the action in every direction, be it a holiday trip or a friend's birthday. Going one step further, movement and vibrations can be added to complete the real life experience. The Gear VR Theater with 4D simulates the movement of a roller coaster in California, allowing a load of guys in suits to experience all the fun and fear of plunging hundreds of feet on the show floor. All in all, we can say that VR has definitely arrived. It's great for games and entertainment, which will be how many of us eventually use it, but its possible applications in healthcare, therapy, real estate, architecture, social networks, and virtual malls, to name but a handful of what we have seen, seem to ensure that this trend is going to be here to stay. We're all excited to see what this virtual future will bring.